So we got IPT patch repair. Uh, IPT logos can be private label. So logo tape has QR code for instructions. Um, mix ratios, anything like that on our full length. On our patch kit, we can make these any length from one foot up to 15 or 20 feet. Packers, again, can be made kind of any length where we want. Um, we have some unique aspects to our pipe patch. I'm going to mix this resin and we're going to put it in. The uniqueness is, a, is that we don't touch our resin, so our resin is completely encapsulated. So there's no worry about mess, uh, guys getting resin all over the place. And more importantly, the fact that we can launch our system from a clean out and push it into place is that no resin is exposed to the homeowner or the homeowner's uh, property. So everything that we do here at IPT uh, is 100% solid zero VOC epoxies. So we're all epoxies. We don't use uh, silica resin or any type of polyethyl or polyester or vinyl ester resin. All of our mixes are a two to one mix ratio. These can be packaged up in simple containers that can be just basically simply added to each other. And we can either use a drill to mix or we can actually put them in the material, put them in a, uh, a container and actually just use a shake mix um, on our resins. So you'll notice our mixer. Our mixer has zero oxygen induction into the mix. So that means we're not putting a lot of air into our mix while we're mixing it. It's pretty important when you're mixing epoxies. So what's nice about this system is when I pour this in, you're going to see uh, the simple wet out. Uh, we can design and develop uh, small hand wet out rollers um, that force this epoxy into place. So we just simply pour our pre-measured mix into the liner. And what we're going to do now is we're going to pull our wet out sleeve a little further out of that liner. And then we're going to simply just wet this out and you'll see no epoxy coming out of the liner whatsoever. Everything is completely encapsulated. Typically when you see um, this type of a patch repair system, what you're going to see is basically you're going to see a lot of resin uh, being spatulated all over the repair. However, with ours, everything is going to be neat and tidy. You see, I'm just going to kind of move this all the way through. Put it into our plastic wet out sleeve. And again, no resin. Pretty simple. Very straightforward. Yeah. 
So I drilled that one out though, that three A. This piece right here is the only way. So at this point in time, you can see that this packer is uh, is very, very flat. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of air. Into this backer. We just take a simple painter's grade masking tape. Just gonna hold that tight. I think the key here too is you can see that it's a pretty simple one man job. Essentially, this is going to be ready to be transported. You can see no resin anywhere. A lot of times what we'll do is uh, on the outer sheathing, we'll just score this a little bit. And that is going to allow all the epoxy to come out into the hose pipe. The best thing about this system is IPT liners, whatever brand they carry, carry ICC and UPC full listings for the repairs. So we would be the only spot repair system in the nation to actually carry that approval. So you can see a three inch line, very easy to go through. Lots of space, lots of room. Uh, once we get it into place, you can see we can push this uh, quite a ways even with just a, a normal air hose. So we have rigid air hoses that are available. Once we get it into place, You can hear the tape popping. So the guys know that we're fully inflated. And now we can actually gauge at this time um, from anywhere from a 30 minute cure out to an hour cure. We also have small mini steamers that we can use which gives the guys all kinds of time to get it into place and then cook it in half an hour. <laughs> 